All right, let's take a look at some evaluating expressions problems. So first we have, given that a equals five is the value of two a equal to 10. So what you're gonna do with this, just like we talked about, is you're gonna substitute in. So you're gonna write your problem down. We have two a. Now remember, when these are right next to each other, it means multiply. So uh, we have to put two parentheses five, because a equals five. So wherever we saw that a, we substituted it in. So two times five is 10. Uh, so their question was, given that a equals 5, is the value of 2a equal to 10? Uh, it is equal to 10, so our answer there would be true. Over here, we got given that a equals 3, what is the value of 5a? So again, remember that you have to write down your problem first. So 5a, when these are next to each other, it means substitution. They told us a equals 3, so wherever I see an a, I'm going to plug in a 3. So we're going 5 times 3, and that is 15. Right, over here, we got a little bit more. We got 2a plus 1. So we got 2a plus 1. Uh, and they and they want to know which value of a in the expression 2a plus 1, plus 1 would give you the value of 13. So let's start with, we'll just start with a equals 7. So you're going to plug in 2 times 7 plus 1. Now remember, order of operations, you're going to do multiplication first. So 14 plus 1, 15. So that one's not right. So let's look over here at b. So we're going 2a plus 1. So again, we're writing down our original problem, showing our substitution, and then doing the problem. So 16 plus 1, 17. So that's not right. Over here, 2a plus 1. So 2 times 6 plus 1. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1, 13. So there's your answer. All right, let's look at this one. Now this one, they're telling us we got 2a plus 3b. So 2a plus 3b. So we write down our original problem. In this one, they're telling us a equals 3, b equals 2. So wherever I see this a, I'm going to put a 3. Wherever I see a b, I'm going to put a 2. So I'm putting 2 times 3 plus 3 times 2. So again, I saw an a, I put in the 3, because right here. I saw a b, I put in the 2. So order of operation, we got 2 times 3 uh, is 6. Now I have 6 plus 3 times 2. Uh, multiplication comes before addition. So now this becomes 6 plus 6, and 6 plus 6 is 12. And they asked if it is equal to 12. It is, so we are true. All right, over here, we got 3a plus 2b. So 3a plus 2b. My a value is a 2. My b value is a 5. So we got 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 5. Now I got 6 plus 10, which gives me 16. All right, now we got 2a plus b. And they want to know which one's going to give it to us for a value of uh, 18. So since we wrote this down here, let's go ahead and we'll start with c. So 2 times 5 plus 7, so that gives me 10 plus 7. 17, so that's not right. We'll go to D, 2A plus B. So 2 times 10 plus negative 2. So that gives me 20 plus negative 2, which will give me 18. Uh, so that could be possibly right. And let's check these other ones. 2A plus B. We got 2 times 6 plus 2. So that gives me 12 plus 2 is 14, so that can't be right. And last one, 2A plus B, 2 times 7 plus 2. 14 plus 2 is 16. So that was our answer, B. Our D, I'm sorry. All right, let's look at this one. We got 2A minus 3B. So A was 4, B was negative 2. So this gives me 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 times negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. We can do state change opposite on this. So 8 stays the same, minus becomes a plus. Opposite of negative 6 is 6, 8 plus 6, 14. All right, now we got 2a squared. So 2a squared. Now, this a is squared, not the 2a. So this is going to be 2 times whatever a is, which is a 3, and that is squared. So 3 squared is 9, so this is 2 times 9, which is 18. So this is false because they asked if it was 36. 
All right, this is 5a squared when a is 3. So this is 3 squared in here. So 5 times 3 squared is 9. 5 times 9 is 45. All right, let's take a cut. Let's take a look at these. So we got evaluate the expression if a is negative 2, b is 3, and c is 4. So the first thing you're always going to do is you're going to write down your problem. So the problem's already written down for us. And then you're going to substitute in uh, what they told you your values are. So they told me a was negative 2. So we got negative 2 plus, this says b times c. So we'll go 3 times 4. So order of operations. You have addition, multiplication. You're going to do multiplication first. So then negative 2 plus 12 is 10. Right over here, I want to do 3 squared plus negative 2 to the third power. So 3 squared is 9 plus negative 2 to the third power. Uh, negative 2 to the third power, remember, is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So that's going to give me negative 8. And 9 plus negative 8 is 1. All right, up here we're going to have 3 times 4 and then divided by negative 2. So remember, when you have a fraction bar like this, you have to do everything on top, everything on the bottom, and then divide. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by negative 2. And then we get negative 6. So again, all you need to do is step 1, write down your equation. Step 2, do your substitution. And then solve your problem. All right, so that was evaluating expressions.